Now, how would you become successful in your healthcare profile? There are a number of ways which you can use to become successful in whatever you are doing in your healthcare setting. Now, today I'm going to give you some of the tips you can use to become successful in whatever you are doing in your health field. Now, if you are new to this channel, uh, my name is Jacob and my passion is to motivate you and inspire you to achieve greatness in your career and also achieve greatness in your business. Now, today we are going to look at some of the tips you can use to become successful in your healthcare uh, setting. Now, if you are new to this channel, just consider subscribing to my channel and also if you want to comment on my tutorials, anything, even on this video, just don't hesitate just comment down there in my in the comment section below now there are a number of things which you can do which can help you become uh, successful in your profession uh, there are various uh, things you can do our tips you can use which can help you become successful in whatever you are doing but today i'm going to give you some of the major tips you can uh, use in your career which can separate you from just being a mediocre good health care provider to a great one i mean being great not just being good but being a great uh, health care provider uh, from which can separate you from the ordinary health care providers now one of the things you have to do is you have to love your profession. Yes, you need to love what you do. That is uh, one of the things which can help you succeed in whatever you are doing. Loving your profession, it doesn't matter whether it's nursing or midwifery uh, or being a doctor or being an anesthetist. The major thing you have to do is to love whatever you are doing. When you love whatever you are doing and put your focus on the patients you are providing care to, it helps you become successful and love whatever you are doing. That one alone is quite a very important factor if you are to become successful in your profession. You need to love your profession. You need to first love the patients you are going to work on, yes, uh, before you, you, you insert your... Many people think that... Uh, coming to a healthcare setting it's all about money actually you will be surprised there's no there's no much money here in the medical field money is just if you want a lot of money they are bankers they are managers but here your priority is love the patient first yes love what you are doing put your focus on patient care i love your patients give them the care they need from that it can help you become successful and get more clients than all other uh, people what they are doing so loving your profession loving or uh, getting more skills in the profession and loving what you are doing is far far much better than all the other things you put money aside money is always secondary yes of course when you you love your profession and they uh, love whatever you are doing money is just a secondary thing so the most important thing you have to do if you are to become successful in your profession is you need to love it if the, you are in a, a specialty which you don't love pick up a specialty where you can provide your best yeah i mean if you are not good at midwifery pick out nursing if you are not good at maybe let me say you will not make a good lab or you will not make a, a good anesthetist. There are a number of specialties which can help you become successful. So you just need to pick out what specialty works for you. Yes. What can you give the best care in? So that is what is very important. Pick out something which even if you are not paid, yes, even if you are not paid, you can still work. So look at one of those specialties. Even if you are not paid, you can give your best care so that you can give the best to your patients. Don't choose specialties because of money, no. Pick out a specialty even if you are not paid, you can still give the best care. So that is one of the major tips which can help you become successful in whatever you are doing. Tip number two is you need to have good communication skills, yes. Communication is very important in a healthcare setting. You need to learn how to communicate to your colleagues. You need to learn how to communicate to your 
patient. Let your patients know your name, know what you are going to do on them. These small, small things are the ones which can make you successful and the ones which can make you win more clients. Let me say if you're a doctor, and if you're a doctor and you are not communicating to your patients very well, they don't know what procedure you're going to do on them. They don't know your name. Some people in those public centers, someone works on the patient for around three, four hours, but you go and ask the patient, do you know the doctor or a person who has worked on you when they don't know so communicating to patient let them know your name let them know what you are going to do them give them that good customer care it helps you a lot in becoming successful in these professions so good communication skills is one of the factors which are very important in helping you become very successful you need to learn to communicate to your clients you need to learn to communicate to your colleagues in the same setting to have develop that teamwork in a healthcare setting is one of the major tips which can separate you from just being an ordinary a healthcare provider to someone who is great and someone who is loved. So communicating to your colleagues, communicating to your pro, uh, 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 patient is a very, very big part. Uh, factor. You, they need to know what you are going to do. They need to know your name. Some patients would love to, to appreciate you, but they don't know even a person who worked on them. Yes, you need to tell them your name, uh, tell them whatever you are going to do, and also counsel them. So, communication and having those communication skills is quite very important in a healthcare profession. So another factor which is very important uh, in a healthcare setting, if you want to become successful as a healthcare provider, generally it doesn't matter whether you're a nurse, whether you're a lab, whether you are uh, a doctor, whether you are an there are a number of specialties, but the qualities are the same. You need to be empathetic. Yes, you need to put yourself in the same position like the client you are going to do to perform the procedure. Um, I mean, if you are going to cannulate or if you are going to do a nosogastric, all those procedures, first put yourself in that position. So you need to be empathetic, not just to be sympathetic, but empathetic. Whatever procedure you are going to do, first put yourself in the shoes of that person you are going to provide. So that one helps you very much to take it with a lot of care in whatever you are doing do it as if they are doing it on yourself that one matters a lot and it helps people because sometimes people carry out a lot of procedures without doing uh, uh, without uh, proper techniques just because it's not uh, be happening to them yes and that one causes a lot of pain to clients so first put yourself in the shoes of of the person you are going to perform the procedure on. Yes, it is quite very important. So being empathetic is a very great tip in helping you become successful in your profession. Because even patients like those people who give them time, yes, try to put yourself in the shoes of those people you are going to perform a procedure on, whether it's a, 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 a nosogastric tube, whether it's cut. First put yourself in the in the patient's position try to know their feelings try to 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 put yourself in that position if it were you how would you want someone to work on you that's quite very important in helping you become successful put yourself in the same position like a client try to be empathetic in whatever you are going to do so that you do it with a lot of skill and a lot of patience yes that's quite because some people do procedures as if they are performing it on on an enemy, on an animal, you understand? So being empathetic helps you become successful in whatever you are doing, in whatever procedure you are going to do. It helps you a lot in giving the best care to your clients. So lastly, another tip which can help you become successful in your healthcare profession is you need to be willing to learn new things. Yes, learning never stops. If you want to become successful, never stop learning you can learn from anyone you can learn from your colleagues you can learn from your seniors you can learn from your junior they, if you want to develop new skills and if you want people to love you and be free with anyone 
you never stop learning. There are people who think that, oh, probably when they have their master's degree or they are in charges, you cannot learn from anyone. If you want to be successful, you need to be willing to learn. Learn new things. A technology is changing. Knowledge is changing. So for you to still be on market and still be relevant in this medical field, you never stop learning. Things are changing. Things are becoming computerized. Things are becoming internet-based. You never stop learning. There are new medicine coming up, uh, new machines coming up, uh, new... Uh, Everything is just changing and medicine changes every day. So if you want to become more relevant and still be important in this medical field, you never stop learning. Whatever institution you go to, make sure you learn new things. Don't stop reading. Don't stop going to internet to learn new skills. Yes, learn from each and everyone. Whatever small thing they, they have, you can learn from them. So, learning new things and keeping yourself updated here in the medical field is quite very important it, and it makes you become uh, more knowledgeable and uh, have more skills and acquire mm -hmm. a lot of knowledge. So, that is quite a very important factor. Uh, so, those are my four major tips which can help you become successful in a medical profession. Now, I would like you to suggest for me and give me some more tips right there in the comment section. What do you think are some of the things which can help people become successful mm -hmm. in the medical field? So, just leave it there, in, down there in the comment section and we shall keep sharing about it. <laughs>